morning guys let me see if this light make the lighting look a little better i think that lighting i think that lighting looks better good morning y'all today is a very impromptu video i just was like should i vlog today yes i should so i hit record but it's like 9 50 and today i have before I go home, me and my friend are going to brunch. And I just feel like I should do a mini vlog slash chit chat get ready with me. Because I don't have on anything special. Let me show you what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing. I don't have on anything like nice for this brunch. Because first of all, I don't like riding in real clothes. And the drive is maybe like. Um, hour and a half but you know I'm gonna do my makeup cute a little bit cuz I don't know I like doing my makeup but I haven't done it in a while and I feel like this is a good time I don't be doing nothing special though like I wish I was one of the girls that wore makeup I mean not makeup I like when girls wear foundation but um, I don't know if it's gonna break out my skin even further so I just stick to concealer but um First things first, let's conceal. Wait, no, no. First things first, let's do my eyebrows. I use this spoolie to do my eyebrows. It's dirty, but yeah. I just do my eyebrows like this. I'm super excited to go to the brunch place that we're going to because i never been. She been, but i never been. And my favorite food. My favorite food is the breakfast food. So yeah. Next we're gonna use this concealer. And I conceal under my eyes. Because first of all, I just woke up maybe like an hour ago. And I'm tight. I don't even know. Well, I did wake up at I mean I went to sleep at like twelve watching rap battles because I didn't have nothing else to do. I was watching D Chanel react to the rap battle. So when I watch videos like that, I like to see her react to them. And I don't know if I told y'all before. Well, I told y'all on my current favorites video. Go watch that video if you haven't yet. But uh, what I was saying, um, I don't like rap battle videos. First of all, let me drink some water. Not rap battle videos. I don't like reaction videos. If you haven't drunk any water today, whenever you see this, go ahead and grab your water and drink it. But I don't really like reaction videos, but I don't know. It's something about hers that just brings me joy. But um, I've been watching this while well, I've been listening to this podcast called Healthy But Human while I take a shower. And it is so good. Like. I'm not a, I'm really not a podcast girl. I just started listening to a podcast like literally a couple days ago. Um, I've never been into like listening to podcasts, but I've been listening to that one. I think it's by it's by a girl named Callie. I cannot remember her last name, but if you look up healthy but human, it'll pop up. But she is so good, and she's Christian based, and she talks about God. She talks about. Like, just, she talks about, like, a lot of things that I think that girls, especially girls around my age, I'm 19, but girls around my age should really, really try to listen to stuff like that. Because, especially, like, in college, it can be kind of hard, like, because we're in this, like, new space, new area, new, basically a whole new era of our lives. So, like, I feel like we need some encouragement sometimes or, like, a motivator. And she's already been to college. She's, I, I really feel like she's early 20s because she talks about, like, how it's so hard. Like, mm, I might have put too much concealer on this side. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. But she talks about how it's, like, um, a lot of pressure on like when you first graduate from college because 
you know you have all these big goals and expectations for how you're gonna be in your early 20s like how much money you're gonna have like the type of job you're gonna have and then you end up still living with your parents which is completely normal and i was thinking about it like i was thinking about that uh, on my birthday because i was like when i was little i would be like having these goals for myself age wise but now i'm actually gonna be 20 and i'm not where i thought i was gonna be because i don't even know those unrealistic goals i was like i'm gonna have kids by 23 i'm not having kids in the, in the next three years kids i'm not I, I don't plan on having kids in the next 20 years i mean in the next three years like that would be crazy i'm still gonna be i'm probably gonna have to go back to school maybe so imagine i don't want to be in school and that's like early 20s like i just became i just got legal and stuff like i can't even enjoy i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say you can't enjoy life with kids but like it's very it's obviously gonna be a complete change in your life when you have a child so i won't be having kids when i'm 23 how i said i was when i was little I might have said 24, but even 24 is very soon. Okay, I'm done concealing. Now I'm going to put some powder on that. I can't remember which one is my, I think this is my blush brush. So, wait a minute. No, this is my blush brush, this is my powder blush. Brush, but it's looking like blush is on it. But I'm going to use it for powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder by in the color Medium Deep. What time is it? I wish I had like a real camera so I could check the time and stuff. Cause I can, time really escapes me. I be late sometimes y'all. Well, I'm not even gonna say sometimes. I be late a lot of times. My friends be having to tell me, well, it's not even all the time. It's only sometimes that I be late. And then sometimes for class I be late. But like I said before in my vlog, college professors are extremely lenient which i'm really glad about because be late in high school you probably not even getting in dope gonna be locked i really like making videos like i love first of all i already like talking to myself so why not report it you know what i'm saying like if you like talking to yourself you might as well make a youtube channel i love the bright under eye look like it's so cute to me even though this line looks super harsh. I don't know if you just like that on camera because it don't look like that in real life. I don't know. Don't say nothing though, y'all. You try to make it blend it into my hairline or something. Okay. Next. Oops. Oh my gosh. Every time. Every time I waste this powder. Next, I'm going to um, put blush on. And I got on black. I really don't want the powder to get on me. So I'm going to just wipe my desk off. Wipe it on the floor. Okay. I'm going to have to wash my hands. But actually, let me just use my hands at Okay. So now I'm going to use some blush. This blush, it came from... It's by Tarte. But it came from the... Um, from an Ipsy Glam bag, because my auntie gets Ipsy Glam bags, and she gives some of the stuff to me. I don't know if she still gets some, but she used to. But it's, this is the color. I thought I wasn't going to like this color, because it don't look pink at all, but it's pink on my cheeks, so. And I like blush on my nose. Blush just makes you look, look so sweet, like. My nose is even breaking out, like, the tip of my nose is breaking out. What's going on? I don't put no nothing on my nose. All I do is clean my nose with face wash. And now it's breaking out on the tip of my nose. Whose nose breaks out on the tip of their nose? Okay. Now with um now I'm just gonna do mascara. Oh, maybe I should use some highlighter today. This is the eyeshadow palette, but for highlight, I use Sunny. Well, today I'm going to use Sunny. Usually I use, like, Illusion, 
but I got on orange, so I feel like a uh, sunny will be cute. It's like a bronzy gold. See? Well, it won't focus, but it's right here. Oh, there it go. It's right here. That's the shade I'm going to be using. I used to wear highlighter every single day, but then I just stopped. I just stopped wearing it. I used to wear it on my nose and in my inner corners. That's really cute. And for the inner corners, oh my gosh, this is so hard. I'm gonna just do my finger. It's harder to do when I have nails on. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's definitely there. Wow. Put a little bit too much, didn't it? That's my um, British accent, y'all. How did I do? Could be on Harry Potter, huh? If I was on Harry Potter, I would want to be friends with, first of all, my best friend would be Ron. My Harry Potter house, if y'all are Harry Potter fans out there, what's your house? Because my house is Ravenclaw. I took a test and that's what they told me. And I feel like that matches me, especially now that my, my hair is blue. Blue and black. I think they colors is blue, black, and maybe silver, but I don't know. I don't know if the silver is true, but I know it's blue and black. Next, we're going to use my mascara that I showed y'all in my current favorites video. Like I said, go watch it. I'm going to put the link in the description for that video. Y'all better go watch it. But, yeah. Now, I'm going to put on this mascara. How about, I did not know the shoe was supposed to look. Let mascara dry before you. Wow, I just got it all on my eyelid. But I didn't know you were supposed to let mascara dry before you um put put a second coat on. And I did that yesterday, and it it just made such a big difference. Like I just used to, I keep getting it on my like. What's wrong with me? Let me get a. Let me get a cotton swab. All right, I got the cotton swab, y'all. I'm gonna um, clean up because I'm just making a mess right now. Do y'all like the kind of smudge mascara look? Because I do. It gives me Jersey Shore 2000, y'all. Oh, my bad. Let me just start finishing my thoughts before I start moving on. But it gives me Jersey Shore, early 2000s vibes. And now, back to what I was finna say. I literally love Jersey Shore. That show, first of all, I love reality TV for some reason. It's like very, it's gonna sound bad, but it's like trashy. But I like it. I like it because it's so unrealistic that it's it's not my reality like I don't really there's no drama or anything thank God but I think that's why I like it is because I never that's never realistic for me so it's like I don't know I don't even know where I was going with that but just know that I love reality TV and my favorite reality TV show is Jersey Shore. Get crazy, get wild, let's do it, get loud. If you wanna have fun and do something, if you wanna have fun and do something crazy. But my favorite character is obviously, well I'm not gonna say obviously, my favorite character is Jenny because she's just such a good friend, Snooky. And Snooky, they're just the perfect short and tall bestie duo that's how i see all my friends not all of them but a lot of my friends i see like that because i'm i'm like tall i'm like i'm gonna say i'm five seven but everybody want to say i'm five eight but i promise you that i'm not but anyways 
And I just had a dream about that, y'all. I had a dream that one of my friends was like, she's short though, like in real life, she's like 5'4". And she was like in the dream, yeah, I'm 5'8", but she was still like 5'4 height. So she was like, yeah, I'm 5'4". I mean, I'm 5'8", so if I'm 5'8", Kendi, you, you're like, <clears throat> you're like six feet. And I was like, girl, I'm not six feet. Everybody around me was like, yeah, Kennedy, I think you might be six feet. And they just, I was devastated after that. I didn't want to be six feet. I did not want to be six feet. And that was the sign of my mirror finna cut off. Got one of those at home mirrors. So lastly, we're gonna line my lips. We're gonna line our lips. And I use the James Charles palette. These two colors, y'all, randomly fell out. I, I wasn't even using them when they fell out. I opened the palette and they was just, they was just falling out. Like, that made me so sad. Cause those were the original lip liner colors that I used. So, and I had to transfer something darker, which I didn't want. Okay, I can't talk to y'all while I do this though. Let's lock in. All right, y'all. I'm done with that. Mwah. But see how dark that is? I'm not used to that. But it's cute though. It's cute. It matched my black shirt. But now we're gonna do my hair. I'm feeling a half a pap down because it's about that time when my braids start to get a little frizzy, which honestly, I like when it's like that, but I don't like wearing it down like that, but I like, it looks more natural, I think. So I'm gonna put it in a half up, half down. My head is gonna be hurting because yesterday I had it in a, um, like a little, I don't even know, what do you call that style where you like take the two front pieces and put it at the back and put it in the ponytail. I don't even know, but I had that hairstyling. My head was killing me. I need to see this in the mirror. What y'all Let's put it in the ponytail holder. It's my ponytail holder. Oh, too. This is why my head be hurting. Okay. Um does this look right? Um I don't know if this looks right. First of all, oh that's why I look something's off. This this is not even oh uh, it wasn't even all the way through. Okay, I think it looks right. Um, now I'm gonna do my edges. Yeah. Now it's time. Should I leave it like this or should I do like a one shoulder or should I do like this? I think I should do it like both. I think that looks that looks cute. But um what I was gonna do. Oh, it's time to do my edges. So let's flip these back. Let's pull the mirror closer to us because this is my cute pink edge brush. It's leopard print. I've been really into leopard print lately. Oh my God, it hurts. Really into leopard print lately. My nails are leopard print. I have PJ's leopard print. My bonnet looks just like this. This is the edge control I'm using. Honestly, I don't recommend because it turns my edges light. And I hate that, but it's all I have right now. And Eco does not hold me. Eco holds my hair, not my edges. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I think it's, yeah. Eco holds my real hair like ponytails or something. But it does nothing for my edges. Like, it'll hold it for like a little bit. But after that, I think I only want to do one edge. Because, yeah. I hate when it does it's like just separate like look more natural it looks like so forced okay wow just look natural bro it's like just come on okay that's better yeah i like little edges like baby edges let's put some 
water on the edge. Can't drink out of that anymore. Now I'm literally gonna use it. I'm gonna put it, I'm probably gonna put it, I'll put it in my hairspray bottle. Cause I don't wanna waste the water. But I'm not gonna drink it after, after I just dip my pinky in it. But now that little side, now let's move on to the next side. This side only does one edge. Like my edges have two separate amounts of hair on them on each side. So only this side, only this side can is capable of doing two edges. This side always does one one big edge. Which I don't be complaining. Also, this side actually has more hair. It's just not I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just too much going on. That will see this side is way easier to do. Like I don't think I have baby hairs, y'all. I think I just got all adult hairs. One time when I was little, you just I seen like this hack on YouTube and she just cut some edges. So I did that and they was cute for the longest. Okay. My hair's all done. I wanna spray some got to be right here, but I'm not it's not that serious. Let's look at myself. I think I look pretty cute. Let's put this up. I guess I'll take this with me home. I don't have any on my shoes right now. I have on some slippers I wear around here, around the dorm. Let me show y'all. Let me spray my perfume. Let me show y'all what perfume I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing pink candy. Also, in my current favorite video, like y'all might as well just go ahead and watch it, but this came from Five Below, so but it smells really good. I spray it. I spray a lot of perfume. It smells great. Spray perfume in your you got braids or something. I would say spray it in your real hair, but I heard some people say they make their hair dry, but it don't make mine dry so. Oh, let me get my earrings. Now let's put on my rings. The rings I'll be wearing today is this one. Looks like a crown. I'm gonna wear this one on my index finger. I have to make sure that I don't fall off. And then on my ring finger on that same hand, I'm gonna wear this little diamond. But this is this hand with the rings. And then this hand, I'm gonna wear this, this chain. This is my favorite one in the whole thing. It's like a chain. I'm gonna wear this one on my index finger. And then this one, it's a solid, a solid band on my ring finger. And those are the rings. Okay, so now I'm finna go. I'm finna go outside and do my morning like devotional. Cause you know it's important to spend time with God. Because let me tell y'all, yesterday I just now started doing that in the morning. Yesterday I really like did like a devotional. Like I listened to like a devotional. I read the Bible, and my day was significantly better. Like I, I swear, my day was significantly more like I felt more on track like i just felt i just felt grounded i'm gonna say i feel like i was really here so yeah i'm gonna go do that outside and i gotta hurry up actually i'm gonna make my bed first but i gotta hurry up because science so class got at 10 45 so we leave it to go get brunch after that so and today's devotional i just started this devotional it's new i think i'm gonna like it um basically we learned about hearing god's voice through the book of samuel because we read samuel one chapter Three, and basically what happened was Samuel, he didn't know God at first. He didn't know what God's voice sounded like. He just didn't know him. And then when he was hearing someone call him, and he was like, oh, well, is that my daddy? Is that my is that my dad? Is that Eli, which is his father? He was like, is that Eli? Is that Eli? But it wasn't Eli. It was God. But he found that out on, like, the third one because Eli was like, I'm not calling you. He realized it was God calling you. So if you if you hear it again, be like, speak. Like, I'm here. I'm listening. So then God was like, he was telling him. Basically, the last time that Samuel got called, he said, you know, speak. Like, I'm here. I'm listening. And like his daddy told him to do. So then God was like giving him judgment. He was telling him how he was going to, how he was basically judging Eli's other kids and Eli, Eli's other kids are like 
he was judging them for blasphemy against the Lord. So then, basically, Samuel, he wasn't a part of that because he, he didn't even know God like that at first. He wasn't, like, tight with God like that. So then, basically, Samuel got declared a prophet. Oh, he was telling Eli about all the stuff that he heard, like, about the judgment and stuff. And Eli was like, you know, he basically was saying God knows best. And so, uh... Samuel got declared a prophet, and like basically the devotional related that back to how we can hear God's voice through reading a word, reading scripture. So yeah, if you if you like, um, I don't know how I'm supposed to hear God's voice. Like I don't know, I just be I don't hear nothing. Like I'm not I'm not getting it. Like it's not clicking. Basically, you gotta get in that Bible because honestly, at first I didn't read the Bible either. Like I really struggled with reading the Bible because first of all, I barely like reading for real i don't even like reading in general but like once i started reading the bible for real i got like i don't know my days just be better days are just better but yeah that was my devotional for today it's um a podcast called daily joy for women i think it's called but yeah so this is my outfit i really hope that cyan not wearing nothing special because as y'all can see, I'm not wearing anything special at all. Hopefully, this wasn't supposed to be like a fancy brunch. But it's like 9.55 right now, so she should be here soon texting me talking about I'm outside. So, yeah. I'll be getting brunch, but I can't even. I was trying to tell y'all outside, but the wind's powerful. But we came back to get cyan jacket and i got french toast and cyan got pancakes and eggs i mean pancakes no -uh, i got fish and grits oh hey y'all so this is our food cyan like i, I already told them what you got her food looks so good you she told y'all the wrong thing i literally got fish and grits and she said i got pancakes and don't figure out on the camera but okay okay well, it's cooking. um my french toast looks so good i honestly don't really like french toast for real but <laughs> sometimes i like it so hopefully i like this so y'all, this is how far I've gotten. This is how far I am. She ain't ate her pancake, girl. And we, that was, this was always to take home. It was never an eat here meal. It was always to take home. So I'm not stressed because I'm gonna finish my plate. Baby girl over here is not finished. She not gonna finish. Um, we both really full. I underestimated. I really shouldn't have got these eggs for real. You should have got a biscuit instead. I was gonna be really struggling. <laughs> you should just. But yeah. Um, the food real good though. 10 out of 10, everything. Hey y'all, so we went to Hallmark. We got these cute little stuffed animals. Uh, they're fresh strip stuffed animals. Wait, and my finger in there. They're there so y cute. And I'm getting the broccoli. Because I'm the best. She thinks she is. And she getting the cheese. But now we're gonna go in the bookstore finally after we went to multiple stores because Cyan no, keep on Cyan store. keep wanting to stop everywhere that she see. So now we're going it's to the bookstore. Okay. So I'm back home now, and as y'all can see, I had to take my braids down because my head was literally banging on 10. But thank you guys for watching this little mini vlog. I decided to do a little impromptu vlog slash chit chat, get ready with me. The vlog part is probably going to be really short, but like the get ready with me part, it's going to be not lengthy, but like it's going to be a good amount of time. But yeah, thank y'all for watching this video again, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.